eating them all, and then there's a serving that all of a sudden shows up. But here we go. stuff is like let's be honest there is no good taste in that one you only drink that thing for one thing and one thing only uh, that works great because it's not a heavy beer in terms of taste it's just a heavy beer in terms of alcohol and these are not super heavy in taste it like hits you for about it's like that and then it just it's just a nice calming like you know what it is it has a home cooked, you know, they talk about that home cooked feeling. Like it, it has that um, familiar, nostalgic kind of vibe to it. It's like a familiar, nostalgic spice. So, these are really good, actually. I'm more of a kettle cooked guy. I don't really know if I've ever seen a Jap excuse me, Japanese or Asian style. Oh, there we go. Uh, potato chip. Usually they're the traditional ones, but this is such a good flavor. I highly recommend if you can find them, if you're a big beer drinker, or if you just like potato chips in general, try these out. They're not spicy at all. If you're looking for something spicy, that's not it. But if you're looking for something with some nice flavor that doesn't stick to your mouth for too long, I like those. Those are really, really good. Okay. Now, here we go. Um, oh, I just realized I changed videos again, so I'm going to have to do two videos. So... This is part two. Um, unfortunately, that got cut off. I forgot this thing only does 20 minutes. We're uh, we're low budget like that. But here we go. So we're going to now mix. This is what. That's what she said. The first one, which is uh, the. Uh, what is it? Wait, what are these called again? The oh, lucky me, lucky me. Lomi um, noodles. Yeah, they're like really thick. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so we're mixing those up. So now we're going to add. So, yeah, so we're going to actually shift this. And you ain't going to see my lovely face here for a minute, which is probably a good thing. What we're going to do, we're going to do something like that. Where is the uh, stuff? So there's our, there's our other one. We're going to mix those up. They're pretty thick noodles too, to be honest. I apologize too, my, my whole table is a kind of fucking wreck. Okay, I'm actually gonna quickly uh, remind people that we're almost, we're almost there. Uh, to everyone that is, uh, oh, there we go. To everyone that is uh, still watching this, uh, just give us another, 10 minutes or so, we should be ready to go. We're to just mixing the stuff together and then we're gonna be doing the taste test. So let's see y'all soon. Okay. So mixing that bad boy up. There we go. Now, I know this thing is already open. Let's try to open it. You can see it kind of going, poof. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. Ooh. Ooh, there's like shrimp that uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one's gonna have a lot of stuff going on, so crap sticks. Wah! That is a lot of stuff. For such a small thing. You know? Okay. Fold it over. There we go. Wow, oh, man, that broth looks creamy. Creamy and rich. Okay. There we go. I don't want to taste anything yet, so what we're going to do is just up. Just gonna wash those off like that as best as we can. Now, next one. Whoa. 
We'll actually move, we'll move this over there. Move this like this. Okay, so this is the, oops, Laksa paste. smells bizarro whoa oh wow I'm not gonna lie that doesn't have the most appealing of smells and I'm a guy that's not not too phased by smells like this that's got a interesting smell like burnt food that's been out for too long so we'll see how this goes Definitely, a, that's a looker. Yeah. This is Singaporean. I have never, I don't know if I've ever actually had anything from Singapore. So, this could be a weird cultural shock for me. But, uh, I got all over the chopsticks. So let's mix that in first. Let it kind of melt. But uh, some things, a lot of things in, in uh, Asian cultures, Asian cuisine, um, they don't taste like how they initially do when you mix stuff together, especially when it comes to noodles. So who knows? But we're gonna let that kind of sit there for a second. Yeah, that's a, that's a, it's almost like cat food, I'm not going to lie, it's almost like cat food. And don't go any, doing any comments about Asian people eating cats, okay, like, just don't, don't go there. Okay, this is the pre-mix, which makes me sound like I should have, I should, ah, oh, I just punched myself in the nuts. Um, Maybe I should have done this one first. I'm, oh, 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 there's your coconut. Oh, wow. That smells delightful. Like, wow, what's going on? What's going Oh, yeah, yeah, we zoomed in like that. Wow. Now, I'm kind of a sucker for this kind of stuff. Um, I had Thai noodles before, and I love that. So this is going to be really interesting. So oh, that has such an interesting smell to it. Ooh, that's a beautiful looking broth, though. Isn't it? That's a beautiful looking broth. Oh yeah, these are definitely beautiful looking uh, noodles. Okay, so let me, uh... hello, how's it going? How you doing? There we go, like that. Oh, I just got a whiff of the coconut. they all over my fucking shoes though. Okay, so. mixed properly. I try not to cross contaminate anything. I used up way more I, I loaded that with way more water than I needed to. You can unhitch and magnetize. Damn it. Okay. Let's use another napkin. I'm glad I, glad I got a bunch of these. Okay. Have not, don't even licked the chopsticks, good. Okay, 
Here we go. Uh, start with the 29 centers. So, this is 29 cent Filipino Lucky Me Instant Lomi Seafood Vegetable Instant Noodle. 29 cents. So, a fucking quarter and four, four fucking bennies. Get you this. Okay, so we're gonna try, try a taste of this. There's um, oh man, it's it's too hard to fucking figure out the taste like the thing. So we'll just do it like that. Big noodles though, big noodles. Okay, here we go. I mean honestly, that's like that's like five bites. It's a really small portion. Like I said, it's three times the size. Here we go. See, I think my nose is now stuck. I think I got some coconut powder in there, but it smells like there's coconut in it. And as far as I know, there's no coconut in it. Yeah, like I smell coconut for some reason, but I know there isn't. Outside of that, it's it's um, it's kind of like your standard Asian Oriental. I don't like that word, but Oriental, but like Asian flavored smell. Hmm, the noodles have a nice texture though. For being so big, salty, but that's kind of expected with ramen noodles. Um, flavor doesn't last very long; it's already gone. Easy, not spicy. Easy on the palate, but not bad. Actually, that's pretty good. A little bit of sweetness. Just a little bit of sweetness. Um, a little bit of bite coming out of there. What is that? Ooh, it could be chives. It could be the chives. Or there's onion and garlic too, but there's a little bit of a bite, not too much. But those aren't too bad. I mean, those really aren't too bad. Are they memorable? No, but those would get you by. For 29 cents. Now, what does 16 times more? I said the smell. That smell is. Oh, so now it smells more like fish and seafood and all that stuff. Because this is supposed to be shrimp and crab, it looks like, and all kinds of other stuff. So, oh no, no, shrimp and co aromatic coconut, which we don't know about that. It's supposed to be spicy. But again, this is Singaporean. I have never had Singaporean anything. This smells like what, you know, when you see those really nice um, seafood dishes, like on cooking channels and stuff. This is what I imagine the smell is like. It's a little bit fishy. I don't smell the coconut quite as much as I thought. But it does make the broth look beautiful. So, let's see. There we go. Slant it to you. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Wait a minute. Okay. So, first off, again, I did not cook these the way you're supposed to do them. You're supposed to boil them in the soup. You're supposed to boil the soup and then you put the noodles in. So that may affect the flavor a little bit. There's a there's a, a definitive coconut aftertaste for sure. And I'm gonna do the broth in just a second but the noodles are exceptionally better in terms of texture wise. They're chewy. They're almost like they taste like they're fresh. Um, Wow, those are great noodles. Those are like, they taste like fresh noodles. So that's a plus. Now, 
I want to try a little of the broth because sometimes the noodles won't adhere to it properly. Oh yeah, it's really sweet after that one. Mm. So, I noticed last time I had shit all over my face. And a certain someone who, you know who you are if you're watching this, was kind enough not to uh, mention it. She just mentioned that I dropped my beef jerky in there. Further hint that uh, I'm talking about you. Um, these are better than your typical Top Ramen. In my opinion, I would rather pay the 28 cents. I think you get a little bit more with Top Ramen, but that's a much better flavor. Now, this one. Let's see what the broth tastes like. Again, I've never had Singapore. This is my first Singaporean anything, I believe, ever. The coconut, I think, is overpowered by the fish or the seafood flavor. It kind of, it pokes its head out like a little beer mole. But, um, it's not spicy. I mean, maybe there's like the faint distance just tingly but not anything that I think would, would affect anyone um, broth looks beautiful though in terms of just broth color it's it's probably one of the most beautiful colors um, and like I said the noodles were fantastic but the broth taste I'm just not used to it I think I'm gonna try I, I think I excuse me I think I will give I think there's two more varieties I can get I think I'll give them a shot. I'll try to do another one of these with its comparable, um, uh, you know, flavoring. But obviously, these are a lot different than this. I mean, this one is just your it's supposed to be your standard seafood, and then which it does. It smells like your standard seafood one, and then this one has got coconut and all kinds of other stuff. Is it worth four bucks? Broth, no. Texture of the noodles, yes. That's a big deal to me. But the broth taste, and again, maybe it's just I and my palate's not used to it, but it wasn't, it didn't stand out. Like, I'm used to Japanese ramen where, like, shoyu and tonkatsu and that kind of stuff. Like, I want that taste. This is not bad, but um, considering it has coconut, uh, that much coconut in me, that fucking. This whole thing was basically just coconut powder. Coconut milk powder. Oh, it smells so good. Nowhere near like what the Thai ones have. Like, I love Thai um, coconut noodles and stuff. Coconut rice, but this was not as coconutty as I thought. So it was pretty interesting. But there you go. So is it is it worth it? I think the 29 center is totally worth it. Um, if you're a you know just top ramen kind of per eating person. Is it worth paying extra? Yeah, if you want the experience, absolutely. You always want to give that a shot. Um, but if you're not sure, just, just bypass it. At least this one, just bypass it. It's not, it's not, it's not what you think. Um, I, I, there are other ones out there, like Japanese ones out there, and this is not me being biased, but there are Japanese ones out there that have better flavor. Um, the um, the Nissan Ryoa and the um, Maruchan Gold. Those are amazing ones at like half that price. Great noodles. Same texture, that beautiful, fresh taste. Try to go for those ones, okay? Anyways, this is Kazuya Kogi with Shonen Flow. If you are watching this right now, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, keep it smooth and keep it flow, and we will see you uh, hopefully soon doing another video. Until then.